Welcome to vlog to lesson three, uh, topic one, which was part of using a revolver, using a semi-automatic. And to sum it all up, your differences, of course, is a magazine and where a revolver has a cylinder. The um, Your semi-automatic has a slide, and when it slides back, it not only ejects the old cartridge, but it also locks the hammer back, and when it slides forward, it takes a new cartridge with it. It also discusses how to safely disarm the gun, or unload it, and it basically comes down to, again, make sure it's pointed in a safe direction, make sure you don't have your fingers in the trigger guard, and, well, you're unloading it this time. First, make sure the, 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 the gun is on safety. Then remove the magazine, take the gun out of safety, and then slide the slide, the slide back, and that will remove that last cartridge. And, of course, the slide lock will lock the slide back. And then put it on the bench, facing the barrel facing down, down range. And then, or you can put it in your own case. And that's up to you whether you want to have the slide open or slide close when you put it in your case. And the fact that when you put a new magazine in, if you don't have a... Uh, chambered round, you're going to slide the slide back. That's going to put your hammer back and then it's going to grab a new uh, a new cartridge when it goes back. And again, make sure it's facing it downrange. Make sure that you have your fingers out of the trigger. And then from that point, you can go ahead and put it on safe or you can decock it um, totally up to you um, and then of course the fact that you have a um, semi-automatic that's a double action or a single action your single action is going to be strictly um, you're cocking it the hammers back and then put it on safety take safety off and then fire it so, um, these are the topics that were in Lesson 3. So, anyway, that takes care of that. Again, always make sure it's barrels facing a safe direction. Make sure your finger's out of the trigger guard. And don't have it loaded unless you're ready to use it. So, and I'm not an instructor. I'm just following what I understand it in the... Um, through the course so you can follow me as I'm going through the course so thanks again for following make sure you subscribe and we can go through this together and then uh, uh, of course it'll be your turn to go through the course and at least you'll be more familiar with what you're going to be going through than if you were going through it by yourself so Thanks again for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for lesson four. And that's going to be ammunition.